It's a question you can see being brought up all the time by the national media. Are high school students getting enough sleep? Locally, Ricori, Sock Rapid, Sartell, and St. Cloud High Schools all start between 8.15 and 8.30 in the morning. We talked with local sleep expert Dr. Troy Payne, who says teenage brains naturally sleep later and do need more time sleeping compared to adults. The theory that they can just go to bed earlier and still get the eight to nine hours of sleep they need is just blatantly false. High school students cannot go to sleep before 11 p.m. If you don't get enough sleep, the science is showing there's an increased risk of car accidents, diabetes, and a lot of other issues that we're starting to notice in populations around the country. With classes, sport practice, and after-school activities, some Sock Rapids High School students do admit it can be hard to keep up with sleep. Definitely in the fall and the spring, I tend to not get a whole lot of sleep because once practice is over and you get out of the locker room and you're home and you're, you're done eating, it's already, you know, 8 o'clock. However, with local classes starting after 8 o'clock, Dr. Payne says this is around the ideal time for students to get enough sleep. 8.15 is sort of in between a little bit and that's better than 7.50 which is when a lot of schools start. So the science is saying that if you can start later the kids get more sleep and you'll have fewer problems. And even though most students would like more time to sleep they do agree that pushing class times back further would probably infringe on after school activities. Most people would like it like to start later, but I don't think they realize that everything else would have to go later too. Most people would go, yeah, I'd like that extra hour of sleep, but then it's like you're not really getting that extra hour because everything's pushed back. We also know in terms of athletics and activities, for example, if we were to veer far from schedules that are in other districts, that, that would impact competitions and things that students um, participate in on a daily basis. Reporting from Sock Rapids, I'm Dan DeBond, WJON.